I got into the military through college. Uh, they had their flight program available, and I had always been interested in flying, so I went through ROTC and uh, was commissioned into uh, the aviation branch. Although I was always interested in aviation, the military was the, the pathway that unlocked that for me. I can remember when I was a young, young child, probably nine, 10, something like that, being fascinated with the AH-1 Cobra. It was the attack helicopter that was, uh, that was used primarily in the Vietnam era. As it turns out, my first operational aircraft that I was assigned to fly was the AH-1 Cobra. So it was kind of a childhood dream that, that was fulfilled years and years later through a winding path that, that I would not have been able to predict. My very first duty station as a, as a brand new second lieutenant, I was a maintenance platoon leader, which, uh, which meant that I, I stayed in the hangar for most of my time with the aircraft in a supervisory role. But during that time period, I learned all that I could from the, the senior mechanics that were there. Uh, so that's, that was a, an amazing learning opportunity. When I retired from the Army in 2011, having been uh, involved with aviation for about 22 years, uh, I moved into an aviation community in Florida and bought an airplane. Uh, and I started working on my own airplane and my neighbor's airplanes under the supervision of our, our resident a and And after a while, he convinced me that you know, if I were, really wanted to do this, I needed to get my certifications and did a little research. I determined that NAA was the place that I probably should attempt. So I came to NAA, like a, like a lot of our students do. I'm unusual in, uh, in the respect that I had a lot of aviation background and maintenance background prior to getting my a and license. And so once I had graduated the program, my intent was to go back to my fly-in community and continue to work on general aviation aircraft. Uh, but shortly after I graduated, uh, I was called and, and asked if I would be interested in coming and teaching and starting with first term. One of the reasons that I agreed to come back and teach at NAA was the quality of the instruction that I received when I was a student. NAA is a place that if you apply yourself, you will leave with the certifications that you came to get and with a very high probability leave with a job that you that you like and you're, you're, you are going to enjoy. For me, being able to give back, being able to affect people's lives because in a lot of instances we have students that either are changing careers or maybe this is their first attempt at a career and to be able to provide a little insight, a little bit of mentoring, a little bit of influence on things that, that I have seen work in my life, be it aviation or otherwise, uh, it, that's just a, an opportunity that you don't get very often.